guess I'm going up then. So yeah, here, she's clattering around, open the blinds. Burnt my corneas out. Corneas? Put the corn in it. What? In your eyes. Corneas. You just burnt them out anyway. My eyes just melted. Just let all the light in. So I've decided to sleep with the window open as well. Woke up as a penguin. Penguin? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you stuck in the house? Corneas and penguin. I was so cold. I woke up with frostbite. There was a polar bear over there. Chilling. Penguin over there. Plus seals down there. So cold. Thought I was in North Pole. So I'm up. Another day, another dollar. Another day, another no dollar. Another day, another TikTok. So I'm in the car today filming a TikTok. I'm not going anywhere. Just in the car. So hopefully it'll work out. I've just, it just went really wrong. Um, I got changed and then realised I haven't put it on a minute. It's only 15 seconds long. It needs to be a minute. So got to get changed again. She's got a smile that it seems to me Reminds me of childhood memories where everything was as fresh as a bright blue sky. All right, Tommy, you're the oldest. I'm counting on you. Come on. She's got eyes of the bluest skies as if they fall off rain. I hate to look into those eyes and see an oh, eye. Nice vibrato, buddy. All right, all right, Alice, let's go. It reminds me of a warm, safe place. Flat. But it's so flat. I can't even, I don't even know. You don't even look good while you're singing. The worst thing I've ever heard. This is $1,200 a week for voice lessons, and this is what I get? Okay, I'm going to save it with the solo. Bow, bow, I'm dead. And I can sing high like this. And I can sing high. That was an absolute mission. That TikTok took me an hour. An hour, Fred. What do you think of that? Boo. Boo. Why are you laid upside down? What are you, a bat or something? Huh? What are you? Why are you laid upside down? Sloth. You're a sloth? I feel like you are the sloth. <laughs> you're not going to get me. I just got to go, I want to go get some breakfast. Do you want anything? Probably chocolate knowing you, but you can't have any. You've already had chocolate at half eight. Brilliant. Made the bed. Made the bed without even being asked. I'm learning. I'm learning so much. I made the bed without being... Soph, I made the bed! Thank you. Can I get my star now, please? Because I made it without being asked. Didn't even ask me today. Well done. Good boy. Make sure you put this on your reward. Well done. Thank you. Come here. I've got, I've got one for you. Right, so as soon as I do the animal, I need you to do an impression straight away. Of what you sound like. No, so I say dog. Wolf. Yeah. So I say chicken. What? Well, you're gonna squirt me water. I'm not gonna squirt you. You're gonna say that whale. <laughs> I fucking knew he was gonna do that. I knew he was gonna do that. You're an idiot. Whale. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that you were gonna do that. Do you know why? It's funny. You're so predictable. No, do you know why it's funny? Because you're such a little killjoy. <laughs> With the things, your little detective girl, little detective girl just going, You're gonna say whale or something! <laughs> You're gonna say whale or something, you are! You turn into Pippi Longstocking. Pippi Longstocking. You go, wait, what are you gonna walk over there? You do, you'd go into a, you'd go into a, you'd see a burglar, you would, and you'd go, What you got, what you got there? Oh, what you got on your face? What you covering your face? You're gonna rub that ass! You're gonna fucking rub that ass! I do a workout. Come on, motivation. That's what we need. Loads of motivation. We need to be motivated. I'm going to put some WD-40 on my joints because I'm literally old as fluff now. And also, a great story's just come out in the paper. So, what was it? That you like to watch porn in your spare time. Yep. In That's an... true. You do. No, I don't. It's you just. Um, so, I did an interview for Food Bar Radio, and um, the, one of the presenters asked me what I like to do in my spare time while I'm in lockdown, and I just made a joke and said, "Ah, loads of porn." And now one of the papers has just printed it and said that I've been watching loads of porn and then my hand's like a claw at the end of the day. <laughs> that's what I, cause that's what I said. I said, yeah, I come downstairs after, so it's been downstairs an hour and I come downstairs and my hand's like really clawing. That's a bit, I mean, well, that's a bit how right, I Do you not masturbate like that? Like a, yeah. I don't masturbate anyway, I don't need to. Don't need to, man. Host ladies here. Oh, yes, yeah. she came yesterday. Yeah, you've got to answer the door in a different accent. 
Well, I don't answer anyone because she talks because it then runs off. Oh, yes, she does talk. Morning. Where is the warm? Oh, got it. Thank you. See you later, mate. For me? For you. In the world, I'm going to connect in the world. Is it a toothbrush? It's a high one down pan, which is meant to be a kit. It's one pen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, safe. Oh, a brush. That's a brush. Nice, one brush. A nail brush? Who brushes the nails? You know what? I really don't understand it when people are saying that I don't do anything. Like, yes, so working, but I can't go sing on my cruise ship because it's not even in the sea, it's in the dock. So right now, my life is entertaining the nation. I hope I'm doing a good job at it. What cup, babe, do you want that one? No. Making coffee for my one true love. Do you think we'll be together forever? Probably. Probably not, I'll probably. 100% or not 100%? 110 million. I'm gonna finish her. I'm gonna finish her like next week. No, you can't burn instant coffee. It's co when you use coffee beans, you gotta put the milk in first. Not put the milk in first. See, I make her a coffee and I still can't do that properly. Still can't do that properly. All right, Fred. What's happening? Oh, yeah, I am Pedro. Get off me. Not when I've got milk in my hands. Milk's gone everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Bacon sandwich or chicken nuggets or pineapple? What? No. Yeah, I am Pedro. Hello, my name is Pedro. Get away from me, you dirty little boy. Oh my god, swear to god. Don't hurt me, I'm just a Pedro. <laughs> Absolutely enthralled by the piece on this morning of how to groom your dog. She hadn't took her eyes off it. We haven't even got a dog. I know your hair's a bit matted at the minute, but... Can you get your coffee, babe? Gold star, again? Not quite. Oh, yeah, it smells a bit bitter. Oh, shit. Make your own coffee next time. Excuse me! Where is Michael? Where is Michael? Put my hat on. Pass me Michael quick, I need to put him in. Don't push Michael. He's harmless. He hasn't got any arms or legs. Melon head, melon head. Melon head boy. My helmet, I've got a helmet on. Why do kids never sit still? You never sit still. Even when you're having your dinner at night, you're on the chair, you're standing on the chair, you're doing a headstand on the table. I never do a headstand. Yes, you did. You just did one right there a minute ago. These sofas are not climbing frames. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They're to gently sit on. They cost a lot of money. Now, gently sit on them and stop it, you animal. Right, so she wants the stones there, but she's now wanting them down the side of the house. It's just weird. Who walks in? Who will walk through the gate? You walk through the gate and you'll go, oh, beautiful. You'll take a few steps forward and then you'll go down straight to the door. You won't come through the gate. Come through the gate. There you are. And then go, who does that? Right, now she's so selling. Now she's in heart attack. Can you get the tape measure, please? I've got it, I've got it, babe, in my other hand. I've got two hands. Right, come over, go sit here then. She's salad taping paper together to make a stone, to make a slab, so she knows how big it is. I, honestly, my mind is, but I'm baffled. And totally incapable of cooking a delicious meal. What is that? It's my dinner. Well, why are you doing it in a small pan? Why, why not? Right. <laughs> <Just> rustling. <coughs> some, rustling up some uh, chill, salt and chili belly pork. Delicious. Bit of mushrooms, bit of asparagus. Easy to do, put it in the pan, fry it, eat it. Easy peasy, here she is, she's still going. Paper. Not some on paper. Okay, so he said that he could do this side. It's a really good diagram, babe, it's really good. Still too, too wide, babe. Do you think? Yeah, they're so long, yeah. I actually want to be as real and as transparent as possible on these vlogs. So yesterday I had an interview with Fubar Radio um, and they said, what have you been watching since you've been in quarantine? And me just said loads of porn. I was obviously making a joke. I haven't been watching loads of porn. I'm always with so I ain't got time to watch porn because I'm making too many stupid videos and spending time with my family and having so much fun. But obviously it gets blown out of proportion. Press run a few stories on it. Daily Mail run a story on it. Then I see it on Daily Mail. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe they've taken this serious. Obviously there's so much more horrible stuff going on in the world. They decided to write about the fact that I said I was watching porn. Ridiculous. Anyway. Um, went on the comments, as I do, I just, I just, it just intrigues me sometimes. And everybody on there, Ryle, 
and vile, being horrible, trying to stay relevant for one. They're obviously trying to stay relevant because they're posting hate. You're not even relevant. People saying that I'm boring, but just mean comments like, is you not waiting to do Panto in December? Yeah, I am. I love doing Panto in December. It's actually a right laugh. So yeah, I am. But I also work my ass off. I'm quite a positive person. I'm quite, I feel like I'm tough exterior. Usually words don't really bother me. But sometimes you read comments and you're like, what have I got to do? These people obviously don't follow my Instagram or watch these vlogs because that is the real me. The, the, the people that oh, he loves himself or he thinks he's so good looking, like, honestly, it baffles me why people make a profile to comment hate. If you have, if you do do that, please, I just want you to know it, it does affect people in different ways. I'll be fine in about 20 seconds, but some people affect all day and they'll change who they want to be because of nasty comments. So just remember that. Anyway, who cares? Let's go. So it's been for a jog. Freddy's playing in Nintendo. I've had a bath, try and get this tan off. It's kind of come off a little bit, not much. Um, I want to go for a run. And then same thing as every day, really. Just settle down, watch a film, chill out. Might watch Step Brothers today. It's a weird day. I feel a bit weird today. I feel a bit annoyed with the comments. <sighs> Why do I let them? Shouldn't let them bother you. But they do. But you shouldn't let them. I'm back. I'm back. Who cares? Who cares what irrelevant, I hate that word irrelevant because that's what people say to me all the time. You're trying to stay relevant, but I hate the word, but they're not relevant to my life, the comments. As long as my missus loves me and Fred and people, and I do make people happy in my family, shouldn't, shouldn't be bothered about anyone else. What are you doing laying on the stairs like that? The weirdest person I've ever met. Can you, can you, dangerous. Just ran, just done five, six K, then two on the scooter. Come on, let's go do TikToks. Come on, sweaty. Come on. Why are you ignoring me? Excuse me, excuse me. There's nothing worse than getting ignored. I'm coming outside now, bro. I'm coming to play footy. It's Friday, yeah. Friday, give me Friday, yeah. Does it even matter what day it is? Every day is a weekend at the minute. Apart from if you're working. And if you are working, can I just say, if you're watching this, everyone appreciates it and thank you so much for all the work you are doing. Whether you're in the NHS, whether you're at hospital, doctors, whether you're a driver, delivery driver, you're working at a supermarket, we all, I, well, I definitely appreciate everything you're doing. I wish I could do more. So thank you very much. Bad of delivery. Could be anything. Amazon Prime, if you haven't got it, it's an absolute godsend. You literally, do, you order something and it comes the next day. It's amazing. The cat's in your face. It's gotta be something stupid. Beer pong. Woohoo! And loads of cups. Why did I get so many cups? I don't even know why I've got that many. 100 cups. <laughs> 100 cups. Beer pong. Oh. <laughs> Go. I want to introduce you to someone. This, what's your name? This is Sophia. Fifi. This is Fifi. You taking, you keeping your specs on, Fifi? You keeping your specs on? Well, I've got chocolate fingers. You've got chocolate fingers? <laughs> That's Freddie. Freddie's chocolate fingers. You're Mrs. Picky Bit. This is Fifi. Fifi, for the first time in three weeks. Three weeks in about two months. Has two months has worn, has put some makeup on. She's absolutely beautiful anyway, to me. I've just got, I've got to pop out later on. Um, Where are you going? I've just got to pop out to the shops. How long for? I'll only be gone about an hour. An hour to the shops? <laughs> You can't be going to what I think you're getting because it takes us three minutes, so it won't take an hour. Well, that's Fifi, so yeah, she looks beautiful tonight. We're having date night as soon as Freddie's in bed. We're gonna have some food, bottle of wine, play some beer pong. Mm -hmm. Rico! I found your Nintendo. What? So you knew I didn't chuck it away? What? You found a secret, did you? Yeah. Yeah, you found a secret? Yeah. Right, what you got to start doing from now on? Uh, putting stuff away. Putting stuff away, please. Because I just run around after you like a blue ass fly. That's what we call it, a blue ass fly. <laughs> buzzing around, picking up after scruff bag Frederico. Do you have the bed? We'll have a fight in a second. You got anything to tell the people at home? Anything to say about yourself? I found a secret. She, in fact, basically, I said to Fred, if he, leave, if he keeps leaving stuff around, it'll just go in the bin. He left his Nintendo and all the games in the middle of the floor, so I said I'd put them in the bin. And then I found where it was, actually. That was the easiest secret ever by life. It was just right next to where the Nintendo charger is. Well, I didn't think you'd be bright enough to look in there, did I? Do you know what I'm saying, mate? Do you know what I'm saying, fam? I'd always look in there. I know. 
I love you. And even if you put it in the bin, because you bought some of those games. I need to ask you a few questions about life. How do you become a famous YouTuber like yourself? So, you need to sing. Sing? You need to Can you give a little bit of singing now? Pranks. Now? You need singing pranks. Jokes. Jokes. Do you need to bend your foot in that weird positions like you are right now? Yeah, you have to do 10... Us a ten hundred splits. Ten hundred splits to be a famous YouTuber. Yes. Okay. How have you and found fame is affecting your life? And what is it? What is it again? TikToks. Yeah, TikToks, and that's all I have to say. Okay, but how have you found fame? Has it affected you? Have you become a, a better person or a worse person? A uh, worse person. Okay, and why is better that? Better person. You become a better person with fame. And how would you? How? What would you say to your fans? I would say. If you know my number, come over to my house and we can play King of the Beds <laughs> and play Mario Party together. Oh, but you don't really know them. That would be quite strange if they just started turning up to the house to play Mario Party. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Maybe. Yeah. So don't give your address out. No, no, maybe they might say their names like to my name is Dave. Uh, Dave or something. And then my own, uh, then they might say, I, you're super famous, Freddy. Yeah, the your but would you so so you'd hang around with your fans, would you? Be mates yes, with them all. Yes. You're a nice guy. You are. You are. Do you know what? You've got a heart of gold. And I'll learn. You're a very loving child, and, and you're my best mate in the world. Girl, I'll let her come over. If it was a big and girl. Kiss what? And kiss Duke. Kiss. You can't kiss me. I've got. I've got a girlfriend. No, She's mum. No. You yeah. have to be married. You have to be married first. You, all right. So until we're married, I can kiss other girls. Yes. Yes, brother. Give me that, give me that permission. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Fred? Where's he gonna go? You gonna boom it? So Sophie made an effort for date night. So I have also put on a shirt, some trousers, cut my own hair, started growing my beard back and tried scrubbing off my dodgy tan. And now I'm gonna go enjoy date night with her. Have a glass, a few bottles of champagne, and just chill. Peace out, hey, tan down. <laughs>